Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to PBAM Vlogs. If you didn't already know, PBAM Vlogs is now rotating on Comcast Cable Access Channel 17 in the McHenry County and Waukegan County markets in Illinois. If your city or town is in Waukegan or the McHenry County, Fridays, 10.30 p.m., set your DVRs. We're on every week on Fridays. They gave me a half hour block, do whatever I want, rotating all my vlog and mini shows in that half hour block. If any of you guys have any businesses or any retail or food establishments in the Waukegan or McHenry County and you want to be featured on the vlogs and on the cable channel, definitely contact us on YouTube or Facebook. We also make over 40 videos a month. If there are any clothing companies out there if you got a little clothing business and you're interested in sponsoring or if you want an unboxing featured on the vlog and on the cable channel definitely hit us up on youtube and facebook also for more details i'm always looking for new clothes or outfits for each video definitely hit me up be more than happy to get the word out for you if not until then i'll just keep branding myself star wars and comic books <laughs> but thanks again for anyone who tuned in we got pretty good response last week i know it's a small market but if you live in illinois and you're on the north side mchenry and joaquin county 10 30 p.m every friday gold Google TV and PBAM Vlogs were airing a half hour block on Comcast Cable Access Channel 17. For all the other states and countries, this is the episode that's airing this week. We're on episode 2. We visit Seafood City in Chicago. We get the introduction to the Platter Pirates and BAM's VHS Vault. We go for some waffles. We visit my friend Tim over at Brookfield Zoo DJing their night fest over the summer. And then I finally show you guys how to make lumpia, those little Filipino egg rolls. Thanks again for watching the vlogs. Thanks for supporting the new cable channel. Presented by Google TV. Set your DVR, search for Cable Access Channel 17. It's listed as Google TV or Community Programming. T-Ban Vlogs, 10.30 p.m. every Friday. McHenry and Waukegan County in Illinois. If you're not in those counties, I'll be sharing the episodes and videos weekly like this one. Thanks for watching, guys. Check out the YouTube channel for all the vlogs. If not, you can catch them every Friday. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video or stream. Later. <laughs> you know, out there either. You don't know I'm here either. Oh, you know, either. Dude, I'm just mad. Clear. Where are you going? Following where this thing's telling me to go. I have Siri and Leone telling me what to do. Get Siri. Follow yeah. your mother. It's telling me to go left. Left to David. No, right on David. Look. <laughs> right? You said right? Right. Okay, it's li literally telling me left.
Wasn't that packed today, but that checkout person was so slow. That's why nobody's in line. Oh, boy, I got smacked in the face. Hey Siri, BAM Studio Lights on. Hey. Actually worked. I was not expecting that. All right, for the first edition for BAM's VHS Vault. In the early 2000s, I was in this DJ crew called the Platter Pirates. There was Kiko, Sprite, Schoolie D, Intel, and then we had Squint, who's Soul Rising now, Vajra, who's Chris Carnes. Me, Kiko, and Sprite used to live close by, so we used to practice every weekend, just go to every local battle. I pretty much filmed, I don't know, all the time. I guess I've always been filming. I got all our practices, all our trips, our map quest trips to all the battles, all the out of state battles, regionals, USA finals, DMCs, ITFs. Uh, no, those are two new Guitar Center battles, Winter Music Conference battles, obviously DMC battles, Cool Mix battles. We used to do a lot of car trips, just a lot of practicing at each other's houses or apartments or something like that. I don't know, I got a, I got all like over like I don't know, hundreds of hours of practice tapes or just us hanging out, trips we went on, shows we did. And I got to redigitize these for some projects, so I decided to vlog them as I do them. Then I'll upload some of the full videos that are worthy of watching i just share them with everyone and just check out the old times this is like before serato before computers and everything so it's just straight like vinyl so let's get into these tapes i think we'll just start around 2002 i got it on the computer already get it cracking <laughs> see what we got Ooh, i haven't seen that in a while that's like Kiko's house. It's Vajra. Uh, this is around 2002, so they're probably practicing for the USA Finals. that to qualify a lot. Kiko! Oh, is this the big pun routine? Thank <laughs> you. 
I was Kiko messing around with uh, the EQ and I used to mess around with feedback and stuff back then. Then you gotta give them the bills. <laughs> you gotta give him a dill. <laughs> I just, I'm gonna give some people just mean dills. That is when he was using uh, feedback from the wires on one, and then he was putting the needle on the label on the other side to have that. And then he taps it for the bass. No, but that's what I'm saying. Like, I'll start out and be like. Oh, this is a 2002 DMC Chicago Regional. We'll just watch the first routine. I like this first routine because he used a, a DJ Tragic Hard House record. Uh, he just flips it. It's really dope. I guess we'll end it about here. On episode 2 for BAM's VHS Vault, I'll go through the DMC 2002 Chicago Regional Finals. Kiko's whole set, my whole set, Len Swan was there, Radar was judging, A-Track was judging, he did a showcase. There should be some fun footage, I'm sure we're goofing around and talking in the bag. Like I said, I got over like a hundred hours or hundreds of hours of practice footage, battle trips with Kiko and Sprite from like 2000 to 2005, 2006. I have to go through all this footage, I have to digitize them for some projects and I'll vlog as I go through them. So make sure you subscribe. Look for the videos weekly. I got daily uploads and weekly episodes. Thanks for watching. Hey Siri, BAM Studio Lights Off. BAM Studio Lights Off. Day today. Enjoy. Thank you. Man, it's nice out today. They got me out on the patio over here at Wildberry. Let me check out the chicken and waffles, Berry Bliss style. No one's ever did it at this location. This is the first time, so let's see how good it tastes.
They got three locations, Chicago, Schaumburg, and Libertyville. Go order that chicken and waffles and Berry Bliss style it. Make anything signature Berry Bliss. Order chicken and waffles and then make it signature Berry Bliss. There's the Berry Bliss chicken and waffles. All types of berry, raspberry, blueberries, strawberries. I have no idea. And I got the chicken on the side. The first ever Berry Bliss chicken and waffles here in Libertyville, Wildberry. Let's check it out. And there's the dish. I got bacon in here, the strawberries, blueberries. What is this? Cream cheese? Some type of berry mix? This is gonna be good. Look at that bacon. The sweet and the salty with the bacon. We got fresh strawberries. Whoa, what's this in the middle? What is that in the middle? Some kind of berry cream. Strawberries are fresh. Yeah, everything's really good. Thank you. The waffle's so soft. Wow, that's really good. Put some syrup on it. More sugar. So let's take a piece of the bacon. Waffle, strawberry, blueberry, some of that stuff, and bacon. So I got the bacon, waffles, strawberries, blueberries, cream mix in there. Wow, that was amazing. Chicken and waffles. Chicken with some berry. Chicken's not bad, pretty typical, but with all the flavors of the berries and the salt and the bacon, so good. Ooh. Blackberry. Firm and fresh. Let's put a piece of chicken. There's a whole chicken and waffle. Amazing combination. I'm not even hungry this morning. This is perfect for Bam's food bucket list. You should definitely go check this out. Wildberry has a location in Chicago. I recommend you guys get this dish. Oh man, this is good. Here's the aftermath of what is left of this chicken and waffles berry bliss dish. Everything was very fresh. I definitely recommend to go try this dish out if they don't make it, explain it to them. The chicken and waffles dish and make it a berry bliss. Alright, cool. We are off. Goodbye, wild berry. Have a good day. Yeah, thank you. Oh, uh oh, they found me. <laughs>
today, I'm going to show you how to make lumpia. Or those little Filipino egg rolls because no one knows what the hell lumpia is. Alright, it's easy, it's just tedious. All the chopping up the vegetables, getting the rice wrap ready. All you need is three to four cloves of garlic, a cup of onions, any onions, white onions, red onions, green onions. I think I use green onions, is that the stick ones? You'll need a cup of carrots, either grated or chopped up or minced. You'll need the rice wrappers, and you'll need a pound and a half to two pounds of ground beef, or ground pork, or ground chicken, however healthy you want to be, or for all the flavors, you mix them all together. Sweet and sour for the dipping sauce, and or vinegar. For the flavoring, you'll need some soy sauce, light or regular, salt, pepper. I like to chop all the vegetables up as fine as I can get them. Rather I mince them. Sometimes even with the carrots I grate them because I don't like the big chunks. Like I don't like biting into big pieces of garlic or big pieces of onion or big pieces of carrots. So if you mince them or you cut them real thin enough when you cook them in the oil they're going to kind of melt into the meat for more flavoring. So I try to cut them up as finely as I can. So you take your garlic, you chop it up, chop it up all Small. You take our garlic cloves, three to five pieces, three to four pieces, depending on how big they are. Don't go overkill on garlic, even though Filipinos like garlic. Take your onions, take your carrots, cut them up all nice. You should have three to four garlic cloves cut up, a cup of carrots, a cup of onions, then you got your seasonings and your ground beef. Take a bowl, take the ground beef or take whatever meat you're using, put it in the bowl, Salt and pepper due to taste. They say a teaspoon each. I just go by how it looks. You know how it is. Put all the vegetables in there. Mix that all together. Make sure all the ingredients are blended together. The more you mix it up, the more the better. After you mix it all together and you think it's mixed well, put it in the fridge. Now you gotta deal with those rice wrappers. You can find those rice wrappers, not in just Asian markets. Our local Garden Fresh carries them in their Asian section. So I just grab them whenever I want. They're like two, three bucks. They probably got them at Whole Foods. They're probably 10 bucks at Whole Foods. Same thing. Open the package. Don't ruin the package because you want to put your extra ones later. They come with anywhere from 25 to 30 sheets each. You have to be really careful when you pull them apart. They're all stuck together like one big pile. They're real thin, so you have to pull them apart piece by piece. It's very tedious. It probably takes anywhere from 15 minutes to a half hour depending on how the rice wraps are. Get all those out of the way. Sometimes when you even pull them off, you have to check to make sure that not two are just sticking together. It might still look like one. You have to pull them apart ever so slightly. They are very fragile, but they also hold together pretty well. Just pull them apart. So just pull them apart very slowly and you should be fine. When you get all those done, set them aside, put them in a pile, put them, set them aside, and now it's time to roll the the rice wraps you can keep in the freezer until you need them so you can buy them whenever you want. Just keep them in the freezer and when you need them, I take them out the night before and just let them thaw out overnight. I let them thaw out overnight at least like 12 hours and they should be perfectly easy to manage. Put them lying flat so spread the meat about a third of the way up from the bottom. Then you fold over the bottom, over the top, and then shape it like a tube evenly across and then you slowly roll it when you have about I say about an inch and a half to two inches left in space put some water on the wrap itself it'll help stick to itself then you can seal the lupia clothes for frying And now we're ready to fry. On the pan, I put at least a half inch or three quarter of an inch, depending on how many I'm gonna cook, because the oil obviously evaporates and gets soaked up by the food. I put a half inch or three quarter of an inch of oil into the pan or pot that I'm using. Obviously, I put the heat on high and wait for the oil to warm up. Then when the oil is heated to its highest temperature, bring the heat down to a medium, medium high, medium, and drop those egg rolls in. Lay them in nice. Don't let them touch each other. You can fit anywhere from four to six in a pot and pan, depending on how you are at Tetris. Mm -hmm. 
I like to move them around in the first couple minutes every 30 seconds so they don't stick to the pan or pot that you're using. Cook each side for about five to six minutes on a medium heat so they're a nice golden brown. After your five minutes, flip those babies over. You hear that wonderful crackle. Then again, because the side is soft that you just turned over, move them around a little bit every 30 seconds for the first couple minutes so you know they're not sticking. Once that rice wrap starts cooking, it won't stick to the bottom, then you can leave it. After a good five minutes, and it looks visually cooked as well, you can tell by the golden brown. After everything's done, plate it up, and then you're ready to eat. And that's how you make lumpia. Or those little Filipino eggs. Okay, Google, BAM Studio Lights on. All right, I got sweet and sour sauce. I got white vinegar, salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Here's the lumpia I just freshly made. And we got some white rice, of course. It's nice, brown, and crispy. Ooh. Take some sweet and sour sauce, dip it in there. Take a nice bite. Nice and crisp. The meat, nicely cooked, firm, not overcooked. You can taste the garlic, the onions, and a little bit of the carrot, the sweetness. Mm. I think I like eating rice with everything because it's bland. I like the texture, but it's bland and it cuts whatever's too salty or too sweet. All right, let's go for the vinegar. Dip it in there, soak it up good. Man, when you bite into this, when you do the vinegar, I don't know if I like the sweet and sour sauce or the vinegar better. It's so easy to make. The prep time or the prep itself is just what detours everyone from making it. If you made any videos or any how-tos, share it in my inbox. I'd really like to check them out. Any ingredients or tips you wanna give me, leave them in the comments in the bottom of this video. I'd really like to see your videos or hear what you guys have to say. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was useful. I hope I made you hungry. Subscribe, share, like, I don't care. I'm getting more food. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Can I take the